Hey everybody, welcome back to Shovel Knight with Spiral Sigil here. Uh, last time we took out the Spectre Knight, but today we're taking on a random encounter. Now, these will usually be one of two things. Either a battle against a mercenary, and all of those are needed to get in a certain achievement. Or, a level just full of treasure. These are just giving you a nice chance to tap out your wallet. Uh, do your best to avoid the stupid, almost Ninja Gaiden-esque ox. Well, they're dragons, but whatever. Because they will, mercilessly, punch you down. If you're not worried about making little jumps like this, though, you can always just use your little phase lock to get across. Or if this encounter popped up after King's Place, you could just use the Fire Rod to take them out. It's That one was a stupidly short one. They do get longer, though. Anyway, instead of going back to town, I'm just going to go after King Knight right off the bat. Sharpen thy shovel. We'll get our upgrades and uh, return in the music sheets after we're done this place. Now, from what I gather and from what I've watched on other people, this is usually the first stage they go to, and I'm not quite sure why that is. Probably because most uh, games that have like a graveyard-esque level are usually more challenging than the one that was in this game. And I'm not trying to say it's easy. It is. It can be difficult. I've just I practiced it. That's all. So don't take that as like a sign of like supreme overconfidence or cockiness. I can die a lot in Spectre Knight's level if I'm not careful. I know this for fact because I did a lot during my practice runs. Is the uh, the area here? Okay. Now if you look up to the right here, you'll see sparkles down there. If you use your fishing rod here and wait a little bit. Wait for it. There it is. You can either get treasure, or you'll be able to fill up your cup with something from the Triple King. Uh, as for, if we don't actually encounter the one for the Triple King, we'll get to that next uh, video because there's an area you can just go to get it. What's a neat little song and dance number that seems to take forever? Uh, just as a forewarning, if you randomly see me just start using an item repeatedly without any rhyme or reason to it, it's because I am playing with an Xbox controller, and as I've said in the past. Playing a platformer with a, uh, an analog stick as opposed to a D-pad still is weird to me. So, come on, rat. It's the first of those mage-type enemies. You'll start encountering a lot of these. However, like with the Black Knight, you can always just bounce shit back at him. Take him out easy-peasy. Them. Sweet. All right. There. If you uh, if you want the extra gems off of the statues, flip their helmets off with your shovel and then stab them downwards. These knights remind me a lot of the uh, I think it was the they were referred to as Armos in Link's, Link's Adventure on the NES, right? Zelda Two. I'm pretty sure they were. Either way, that's what they remind me of. Because of their ability to just block a lot of your shots. Oh, it's already the second hit point. Now, these chandeliers, if you couldn't kind of guess already, you can jump off. Jump on them. Which you need to do right here. Get this extra gem. I want that doorway. Staying here for long enough, and it automatically sucks you in. Be careful not to waste all of the uh, the chandeliers going across the first time. And the villager out in the field. I have all the deals, and this time he has the fault flare rod, which I which I did reference in the last episode as well. I still prefer to use the phase locket, but that's just me. In the door. Right, right. You really want me to line up this specifically? Alright, and then just be careful going back across there, because the fire can instantly kill you. Well, not instantly kill you, but it can knock your ass into the pit, which it almost certainly will, and that will instantly kill you. I should probably be more specific. I can go to the right, can I? No, I can't. I can, however, go off to the left, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about the uh, food yet. Oh, right. I guess I probably needed that. Oh, no. I'm still good. 
so the first time I was playing through this, I didn't know you could reflect these shots back at them. So I'm like, how am I supposed to do this exactly? Like, I can't, I can't jump over those. And chest. There we go. Now this will lead you to the last connecting path, or if you climb up that ladder, you'd appear over there. I do want to break that checkpoint, though. Yeah, you would have appeared over here, though. Also, I don't quite know why they got obsessed with this, but if you jump behind any of these little, uh, mantle flag things, like the gamblers, there's always a small gem there. Uh, I just realized I'm gonna, yep, jump right into a trap. Either way, this, uh, griffin is only vulnerable in its face. It can attack either by shooting fireballs, like you saw, or attacking with its claw. If you've got the... Flare wand, use it from a distance. If you've got the phase locket, use that instead. It'll take less damage that way. Try to take out the rodents before you try crossing. You can also use them to bounce across like so. Ah, damn it, I missed it. Get down here. Get down here. Come on. Okay, that should be good. There we go. That's what I wanted. Always take the optional areas if you can. Take up the magicians as fast as you can, just to get them out of the way, so they're not a nuisance. Oh, right, I have to go up and under, don't I? Die, die. Excellent. Another little gem. Sweet. That's what I want to see. And then you can proceed back. I answer what they respawn. Oh, well, no biggie. Like I said, magic up, like magic uh, restorations drop all the friggin' time from certain enemies. All right. Extra gems. All right. And those ones too. I like when they crash into the wall, they just explode. These knights are really easy to fake out. Just go for a jump attack and then immediately swap to an attack. And they'll, and they'll fall for it every friggin' time. Gems. Don't be afraid to like spend a few time, a few minutes like every level just whacking random walls, looking for like an extra path or an item or something. We'll go to the left, or before we go to the right, we we'll go to the left because I want that uh, that song right there. Take that mouse or propeller rat or whatever the hell you are. I have to take my vengeance on the propeller enemies now because there's a stage later and if you played the game you know which stage I'm talking about the four propeller based enemies and I fucking can't stand them. Uh, they, they're just the most annoying thing. Let's go fishing! This might be the one I was thinking of too. Yep, true pull. Sweet. He filled it with Inker of, Inker of Boldness which is actually my favorite one. Uh, there's three. There's one that restores your health. There's one that makes all all treasure magnetize you for 60 seconds, which is also really freaking sweet. And there is the one that I just got, which makes you invincible for, like, six seconds. That was close. There we go. I actually didn't think I was going to make that all the way across. So just take it out. Take it out. Take it out. I don't know why they have to give me two. Did they, did, they, did they really think I was just going to take damage from that? Like, you've, you've used chandeliers on us by this point already. All right. Okay, I've got the face lock already. The face lock is easily your best bet if you want to avoid damage from this stupid bird. But, once again, you get fully healed anyway, so what's the 
what's really the worry there. Thank you. I'll take that money. And I think I'm a King Knight now. I am a King Knight now. Uh, I can't even remember how to fight King Knight. I remember him just dropping so easily to the downstab. An interloper in our midst? Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more an intruder than you are. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you are mistaken. The Entrancher saw fit for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. Yes. You're not but a decadent dandy. Did I just call him a dandy? Really? Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice! It's funny, if he hadn't said shovel justice, I was gonna shout that. Silence! Let's go, Kingy. They literally just abuse the downstab to an obscene degree in this fight, and you'll take him out no problem. If you're jumping at the same time he's jumping, but you're downstabbing, you will almost always hit him. Like, you, you, you will usually come out on top. If you run into trouble, the, um... The phase locket or the uh, invincibility thing you picked up earlier will come in really handy. Oh, that actually did count. If he, uh, if he does manage to get you with his little stomp attack there, he will be able to walk up and get a free shot on you, but... If you're always in the air, like you should be for this fight, you'll never have that problem. And King Knight is... I, th I think he's the easiest boss. Like, Black Knight's really simple too, but I think he's the easiest boss. I personally find Spectre Knight easier than him because he can be a little unpredictable, where Spectre Knight adheres to a strict pattern. I couldn't tell you what it is off the top of my head. Like, you, you saw what it was in the last episode. But, King Knight can jump around a little erratically, and the little... confetti, I guess, that he summons with the trumpets can be a little bit of a nuisance if you don't have the phase locket or you're out of magic or you don't have the invincibility thing. I think this is where this actually starts becoming an extra little bit of a fight. It does, yeah. So you have to save her while fighting these guys. But you can collect extra treasure while you're doing so. It's okay. Easy, easy fight. Because if you really want to worry about it, or if you really don't want to worry about it, just bounce off the shields the entire time. Until you have the- No, 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 no! No, I'm gonna miss her! You stupid fucking rat! Ah! Well, it's normally easier than that. If you don't get hit by a stupid rat on your way down and bounce past the woman you're trying to catch. And if you ever wake up with a box next to you, open the box. Just, just open the damn box. You get a meal ticket, it's a plus health, it's free. There's no downside. But clearing both those bosses, both King and Spectre, opens up the next three bosses, as well as now gives you have now the equipment to do the bonus area, which is the red gem on the bottom of the screen there. But that's all for today. So as always, rate, comment, like, subscribe, do the whole nine there. Tell me what you want to hear, or tell me what you want to say. I want to hear it. And until then, stay tuned for more Shovel Knight. Spiral Sigil out.